doing fine so today what we are going to do is we are going to create an structure for an e-commerce app so i won't be going into the details about the graphics of the app we would be working on the functionality so the main thing that we would be using here is the provider package which in turn uses the chain notifier provider so the main function of this package would be to update us or provide information to our code whenever any changes to the respective uh, data types or the variables are made. So let's get started with it. So what I've done here is I've already created three different packages in our light flip folder. So the first one is inventory models and screens. So inventory will basically take in all our data and the model will have a model structure, the model class and the screens are going to take different types of screens. Also, we need to import the provider package and I've already done that from here. It's in the dependencies. I've added it here from pub.dev. You can also go to pub.dev and you know just copy the, it from there and put in then don't forget to run the pub.get. So I'll just run pub.get again. Okay, so it's finished with exit code zero. It means all is fine. So what we are now going to do is we are going to make our different scheme screens here. So the first one would be the product list screen. So let us go ahead and create that. Okay, so this one is going to be a stateful widget and name would be product list screen. I'm just going to import material dot dot. Okay, so what this is going to do is this is going to take in a scaffold. This is going to return a scaffold. And the scaffold in turn will return an app bar. Our app bar we have, have a title which would be of type text, and this text would be product list page. Product list. Okay, we will just type product list. Okay, so this is one thing. So the next what we are going to do is inside the screens we are going to create one more dot file and that will be product detail screen. So this is product detail screen. So this is again going to be a stateful widget. I'm just going to import material dot dot and then the stateful widget product details screen. Okay, so this is going to do the same thing. It is going to return a scaffold and scaffold will have an app bar this will take in a title which will be a text and this text will say product details okay so we have two things here now we need one more page here and that would be our cart page so let me just make that here so this is our cart screen i'm going to import material dot dot here and then I'm creating a stateful widget. This will be cart screen. Again, this is going to return a scaffold. This will take a title of type text, which will say cart page. Okay, so we are done with these three screens right now. So we'll head back to main.dart. Let me just import this here. Okay, so I keep the small. All right, so I'll just import this library here. Now, in order to use our provider package, what we need to do is we need to wrap our material app inside the change notifier provider. So let me just do that here. I'm going to wrap this into a change notifier provider. So the change notifier provider also needs a create so this create will be of type context and this is going to return this is going to return our uh, product list so that means it's going to return our inventory so whatever inventory is let me just get to that so we are going to create a new dart file here it will be our inventory so when we go to our inventory, we will create a class by the name of inventory, which extends the change notifier. So let me just import material.dart first. So now 
I will create a class by the name of inventory and this is going to extend a change notifier. So this is what our inventory is going to do. So now when I come back to our main.dart, let me just put in our inventory here. Okay. So our inventory is now here. Let me just put the semicolon. So this is the basic thing. This is the basic start that we are going to be using in terms of how we are going to implement our shopping cart or our e-commerce app inside the Flutter. So for the next for the next lessons, please stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already have. I'll keep uploading new videos for you to learn Flutter more easily and let me know in comments for any help that I can be of. Thank you. Have a great day.